Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my Airsoft Weaponry Collection video. I have so much stuff that I've gathered over my Airsoft YouTube career. So much fun stuff. Uh, we have three sniper rifles here, one the Dragon Lore, a sniper from my new unannounced sniper pack that I'll show you guys, a mini gun, we have a pistol with a tracer unit here that looks really, really cool, Karambit Fade, and we even have a landmine that I haven't showed in the video yet, but this thing is freaking cool. So this is the SSG24 that you guys obviously know from all my videos. Um, it's the very first one. So normally on the Novartis SSG24, there is a serial number here, but this one doesn't have it because this is the very first prototype that Novartis used to test the gun and develop it. So that is a pretty cool, unique feature about this one. Essentially, this is the 0000, and Novartis has the very first one off the assembly line, which is 0001. What I've done to it, uh, to customize it to my needs or to, to what I want it. I've got a, um, a sling mount here uh, on the rail so I can attach a sling that is not on the bottom but on the side so it hangs naturally down on my chest. This is also a paracord sling made with obviously with paracord that's made by Snapperty Fabi. He did an, uh, a really amazing job I should say and um, it, it attaches here to the back to my buttstock pouch, which is um, one of the things that not many people use, or not snipers that I see on the field anyway, but in my opinion, it's one of the best ways to carry an extra magazine, because it'll never get dirty, and your reloads are super, super quick with these, so that's why I use it on my sniper. So the second one, let's look at all the pistols here. Obviously, this one is probably Closest to my heart. Um, it is one of my favorite pistols. It's the Tokyo Marui Extreme. Uh, it shoots at 25 rounds per second, and that's just insane for a pistol. If you're a sniper player and you want to just like kill somebody that's, that's hiding behind a bush or something, I mean, this thing is just ridiculous. Like, if you shoot at it, Fire rate just is it's it's great. It's insane. My secondary pistol that I use uh, when I'm playing indoors and stuff like that is the Tokyo Marui 5.1 High Kappa. These are basically the same guns. The only difference is this one is a little bit longer and doesn't have the full auto. I've also done a, an upgrade for the outer barrel. So the outer barrel is now a, a aluminium outer barrel, and the, the tolerances are a lot better. So you have like little. Less wobble here, so it's a super accurate pistol. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> uh, I've got a tracer unit on here, so you can put these tracer BBs. These are glow in the dark BBs in there. And if you shoot this indoors, it'll like light up the BBs real quick before they exit the barrel, and all of these will look like laser beams basically. Love this one as well. Tokyo Marui is a great brand for pistols, so that's why I chose those as my main pistols. Next up, we have my first Airsoft product is the Silo Striker Sniper Pack. So a lot of you guys want to get into Airsoft sniping but have no idea how to do it. This will include everything you need to start taking some names on the field. So here's all the stuff that is included in the Sniper Pack. Obviously you get your rifle. You also get the case by the way, that's also yours for to keep. But this is a um, Amoeba Striker S1, which is a nice and accurate rifle that'll reach 75 to 80 meters accurately, which is the most important part. Along with these BBs that you're supposed to be using with this gun. These are uh, 040 gram longbow BBs. You can use any high quality BBs as long as they're 0.40 gram. Don't go over, don't go under. Just use these and as long as they're white, you'll have a great time so you can track your BBs in the scope, which is also included in this pack. This is a Swiss Arms 4x40 scope. Same scope that I use, same scope that Novartis has been using for a long, long time. 
Uh, it's a super nice scope. So you also get the magazine, of course, with the gun. Uh, there's an extra one included. So you can carry two in the field. These carry 40 rounds each. So you'll have plenty of ammo to take down your enemies. Along with that, every sniper needs a good sidearm. So I've chosen the KWC Anniversary Edition uh, 1911, which is a really nice sidearm. It's a CO2 powered one. So you will uh, get a nice kick. It's a full metal construction. The slide is metal. Uh, it'll kick nice. It's an accurate gun. It's a reliable gun. So that's why I chose it. Along with that, you get a holster, of course. Same style that I use in all my videos and all my gameplays. It's a simple holster, but it's nice and effective. And there's no chance of you losing your sidearm in the field because it'll lock in with the tab. Along with the sidearm, you also get an extra magazine. So you get uh, two magazines for each of the guns in this pack, which is the same configuration that I use in my video. And I also carry two speed loaders so I can keep going the entire day. But this is actually just a preview of the sniper pack. I will play with this gun to show you guys what this whole setup can do on the field. And you can choose for yourself if you want to uh, get one of these and start airsoft sniping. I'm also still working on the price for this whole pack, but I'll make sure it won't break the bank. It'll be a nice and affordable pack so everybody can experience airsoft sniping the way it should be. I also have this little fun thing. This is a landmine. I haven't used it in a video yet, but I will soon. So what you do is you open this up and you can fill this up with gas and it's spring loaded. So you can like press it down and you put some water in here, put it down. And if somebody steps on it, it'll expel water from all these holes here upwards. So you get like a huge blast of water in somebody's face, which is always funny. I will be using that in a video very soon. So next up, of course, I have the mini gun made by Classic Army. It's a micro gun, but it's the same thing. It's got four barrels that rotate. It's got ridiculous fire rate. It looks super cool. It shoots 35 rounds a second. So that's a huge like cloud of BBs coming at you. Um, you can hook this up with an HPA line that'll push the BBs out and you also put a battery in here and then you um, have like a high torque motor in there which will rotate the barrels that way and um, have loads of fun with it. I tried to play with it, it sort of like went bad on me uh, so I'll get to play with it again and make a proper video because the first one kind of failed but you know I don't really hate playing with the minigun so let's play with it again I guess. <laughs> So the next couple of toys, uh, we have some knives here. I've got a Karambit uh, knife that I got from Sniper Buddy Fabi. So thank you Fabi for this one. I haven't really used it too much. I've also got like an another rubber knife here, which is, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. I haven't really got to, <laughs> got to use it at all really, but. And lastly for the knives, we got a Karambit fade, which I'm yet to use in the video, but uh, it is, I mean, look at it. It's a Karambit fade. I mean, it's awesome. So this is so this is one of the this is the first dragon lord that I made. This is the one I used in the video. Whoa! They're coming! They're coming! This one used to be my main sniper before I used the SSG. Uh, it is a Well MB four four zero one D. I don't know why the fuck you name it like that because it's a stupid name. I mean, it's upgraded with the Novus tuning kit, so it shoots well. But the cylinder volume in the, the cylinder, the main power source of these guns, is not as big as the SSG, so you will lose some energy with those really heavy weight BBs that are super accurate that I always use in my videos. Yeah, I'm really glad I am not using this gun anymore because it also has a lot of feeding issues and all the other crap going on. So um, I'm glad this one is now a wall hanger and I can use my SSG and not be frustrated all the time. Now this is version 2, because a lot of people wanted the Dragon Lore for themselves. So um, this is version 2 of that Dragon Lore skin that you can find on my website as well. I've had many requests to just put this online and you can now, you know, if you want, you can get it off the website. This one is much better quality uh, sticker. This will really come tour to the gun. Um, it has much higher resolution and it's a one-to-one -one scale of the real um, Dragon Lore, so it's like it made with the files from the game, which makes it, you know, a really accurate replica of the game's Dragon Lore. So, for that reason, is one of my favorite ones. 
So these two little guys here are my two impact grenades that are currently living here with me in Austria. The left one here is a cyclone grenade, which is, uh, well, they're both impact grenades, but this one will expel a BBs from this hole here and you can fill it up with gas. And as soon as it hits something like a wall or a floor or another hard surface, it'll start spinning like crazy and throwing out a bunch of BBs through this hole here. This one is the XL Burst. So you fill this thing up with gas just like the other one and you put like this little membrane here at the bottom and this will give a really loud bang. This one is actually a really nice grenade. Uh, it is made with aluminium and the other one is made with plastic. So this one is actually a lot durable and probably my favorite in these two grenades. I bought this one. This is my Walter PPK. You might know it from James Bond. Um, I've painted it gold obviously to match you know the movie one. I'm gonna be doing a um, Springer pistol challenge like the crappy. This is like a 35 euro gun now I'm trying to you know see if how this fares against all those really expensive guns that you see out in the field So that'll be interesting literally if you want to shoot it All you do is like you pull this back and you shoot and that's how you do it every time so It's not an effective gun. Let's say so this is my SEMA AKM, is one of the higher end models that SEMA makes of the AKM. Uh, it's got a, a lower rail, an upper rail here, uh, high cap magazine, and uh, it's pretty much, this, this whole bit is all metal, except for the handguard, which is plastic. Also on this version of the real gun is also plastic, um, but it is a very nice shooting AEG, so it's an electric gun. And don't worry, the tape is just to cover a hole here. Uh, I drilled a hole in there because I wanted to put a bunch of cameras on here and like to put the battery in the buttstock and have like a wire coming out here to power the camera. But I never really used this gun for a video, so that's why uh, that hole is covered up by tape. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, I have my old uh, High Kappa. It looks very much like the Toki Marui, the, the black one here with the tracer unit. KJ Works pistol, full metal. It doesn't really work too well anymore because I dropped it in the mud so many freaking times. So it's all like, it's it's all crusty on the inside and um, it it's it's kind of fucked up. I broke it. I'm sorry, but it's a good it's a good quality pistol. So thank you for checking out my airsoft weaponry collection. This is some of the stuff that I really like or um, it's like really high performing or just fun to play with, honestly. And um, yeah, hopefully the video with the tracer unit. And the PUBG video will turn out well, so check those out when they come out and hopefully see you in the next video. Ready? Ready? <laughs>